Welcome to News and Views. My name is Danae Jones and it's my pleasure to bring you this conversational lounge style TV segment that we'll be producing for you each week here in far north Queensland. It is a social media TV show that you can watch when you want, how you want and we'll be producing it here every week. So make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, share it with your friends and make sure that you're the first to see each episode when it's released. Today we're here at the Smith Street Cafe here in Cairns North and if you haven't been down here they produce great food and even better coffee so come and check them out. Where would we be without the Salvos? They are there in times of crisis, during natural disasters and at times of year like Christmas where many families find it very difficult to survive financially. The Salvos are there for those who need it most in our community 365 days a year. They give toy hampers, emergency food hampers and long-term support for families in need during the festive season. But they don't do it alone. They need donations, they need volunteers and they need food and toy donations at this time of year as the need is so great that sometimes they struggle to keep up. Today we are joined by Cairns Corps Major Suzanne Cox who is at the front line every day with her husband giving hope where it's needed most. Thank you for joining us on News and Views, Major Sue. Thank you for having me. Our pleasure. Now, this is a very busy time of year for you guys at the Selvos. What kinds of support are needed at this time of year? Well, we have different genres, different people coming to meet with us uh, who are in need. Some are finding it hard to make their mortgage payments. Some just cannot pay their electricity bills. Others just need a helping hand and a bit of encouragement. So at this time of the year, we uh, gather donations of food and ha uh, toys for our hampers, and we pack them all up. And uh, on the last week before Christmas, we have some big community dinners and we invite all those people to come along and we distribute those things to them. Awesome. Now, last year, I believe you told me it was something like over 800 people that you fed at those dinners. Yes, that's right. Yes. So what actually do you do at the dinners? Because you do more than just feed them. Yes. We believe that we need to look after the physical part of, of a person, but we also need to give them some hope. There's not much hope in the world today. So we decided that last year, and we're going to follow the same track this year, that we would ask those people who have applied for a hamper, whether it's food or toy or both, to come along to a community dinner. They're at five o'clock in the afternoon, so it's quite okay for their children, families to come along. They come along, they're ushered into a big hall and they're seated just like Sizzler used to be. And, uh, and then we have a volunteer army who come along and, and serve them a lovely meal. And then after we've had our meal, we sing some Christmas carols, and we um, do some fun stuff with them, and then we say a prayer, and then we hand out our hampers. It's a night that's finished by seven o'clock, but everyone's had a great time. In fact, last year, a couple of folks said to me that was the best meal they'd had in weeks. So that, that makes us feel great because we're actually plugging into a need that is real. Absolutely, and I was there serving dinners with you yeah. last year and it was just so warming in the heart to see exactly what you guys do on a daily basis, really. You don't just do this at Christmas, no. I know. Um, and you know, it's a credit to you. I mean, that was your idea to put that, that big dinner on. Over three nights you do it, don't you? When is it That's happening right. this year? So our first dinner is Monday the 18th of December, then Tuesday and then Wednesday. So three nights in a row. And um, if people are interested in coming along and volunteering, of course, <laughs> we'll be uh, looking forward to that. But also if people need a hamper, then they need to come and contact us at the Salvation Army. And so how can people contact you if they are in need? Well, they need to ring our office first, um, and the number is quite widely published. So um, ring our office, tell them what you need, and then they'll make it um, a time when you can come in and get your invitation so that we can take all your details, get your photo ID and everything organised so that it all runs smoothly at the dinner. Okay, and it's very easy, really. <laughs> Brilliant. And so, what about people that can't volunteer, they just want to donate? How can they do that? What are the types of things that you're needing right here and now? Right. Well, there are three things that we need. Um, firstly, we need good food, okay? So, long life, preferably. Uh, second thing is we need toys 
only new toys, no stuffed toys, and we need toys that are particularly in the range for boys from 12 to 15. Because they're that's the ones our, that you don't get. That's right, that's our yeah. difficult sector. Um, and then thirdly, they can do, um, donate cash if they like, and that cash actually helps us to pay for the community dinners. Absolutely, and so where can they make the donations for cash? They come into the core and do that locally? That's or? correct. Yes, 72 Horse Street in Manunda. And the office is open from nine till four every day, weekday. Brilliant. Brilliant. Well, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, and we congratulate you on everything that the Salvation Army do right across Australia, and in particular here with you and Major Gary here in the far north Queensland. Thank thanks you for me. everything that you do, and thanks for joining us today. Thank you very much for having me. Thank you. And so there you have it, folks. If you want to donate to the Salvation Army here in far north Queensland, Horse Street is where the Cairns Corps is located. That's where the head office is. You can go in and make donations uh, at any time uh, throughout the week during their opening hours. And if you want to volunteer, make sure you contact them via their Facebook page or go into the local Corps and put your name down. If you're in need and you're actually wanting to register for a hamper, you need to contact the local Corps as well and make it known uh, that you're in need this Christmas. Uh, it's just amazing, I think, the work that the Salvation Army do here in Far North Queensland. I don't think people realise uh, just how many needy people there are out there. And so this Christmas, if you can just really give a thought to those out there that need it and see in what way you can help the Salvation Army, it would be greatly appreciated. Thank you for joining us on News and Views and we'll see you next week.